the, the first play I'm going to tie is a, a Mondo Cicada. This is a, a size four. Well, actually, I'll show you what it's going to look like here in a minute. If I need it to show up. Tie in the um, I'm using 6x thread, and I'm going to tie in the, the orange butt of the, the bug right now. And I like it to have a little bit of, of black thread underneath it when I tie it in. Next part, I'm using this foam that's kind of uh, tiger striped. I'm going to cut out a pretty long piece here. So the piece is black on one side, orange on the other. Once I get that tied in, I'm going to wrap it forward and I'm going to try to make the, the black part show up on the bottom. So I'm going to palmer it forward. So tie that up about there. You want to leave a, a good space of room. I just broke my thread. You want to leave a good space of room to. Um, to make the head of the fly with. of this Evazote foam that's 3 16 inch thick. I'm going to cut it pretty, pretty wide here. And it's a pretty long piece because you're going to wrap the, the head back onto itself like that. I like to use a, a lighter, it gives it a little more natural appearance. So just hit it kind of quick with the lighter and then use your fingers to, to smooth out the edges. And it just ends up looking a little, a little smoother. And then you want the, the end of the fly to end basically where the end of the, the butt section of the fly is there. And then with these flies, super glue is, is key, so definitely want to glue the fly. That'll make it more durable and help kind of hold everything together. Then the next part, I'm going to put some dubbing up here over the, the head of the fly under the body. And I'm using Ice Dub Peacock Black.
twist that on the thread. Okay, next I'm going to tie in the, the wings. And I like to put CDC as my underwing. I think it just gives it kind of a natural natural look to the to the fly. It makes it look a, a bit like a cicada's wing. So I'm going to use two pieces of that. Put those together. And then line them up so they sit just a little longer than the, the back of the fly. The titles in. Next, I'm going to put some crystal flash on top of that. Um, crystal flash I like to use is UV pearl or purple. And we use about mm, probably 12 strands for this fly. And then cut it so it's just a, maybe a tiny bit longer than that CDC. Okay, and then I like to use a uh, calf tail. Uh, this is light pink calf tail. I like using this for the wing. So grab out a decent clump like that. And I like to grab the end and then just pull out the excess fibers and the overlap in there. Line it up about the same distance as everything else. Ooh, broke my thread again. Your thread? Yeah, I've done it twice. Jeez. Not used to tying in front of people. That never happens to me. pretty even. So the next part I'm going to fold the, the make the head of the fly. So I'm going to fold it back like that and pin it down. But I'm going to add a little bit of super glue in there for durability. Pin it back so the end's about where the eye of the hook is. Pull that down and kind of pinch it together so holds true. Then I like to take the, the scissors and kind of pin them against the edge of it and cut it a diagonal and then do the same the other way. And that leaves the fly kind of looking like, like that there. Okay, next I'm going to add uh, the orange indicator on the top of it. So I'm just going to cut out another little piece of orange. <laughs> Dot of glue. Okay, next I'm going to add the legs. I'm going to take four of these um, barred legs, they're orange and black.
And if you look at the legs, they, they kind of have a natural curve to them. So I like to try to pin that curve to go back into the fly, which looks like the, the edge of the wing of the cicada. So you can see that kind of kind of bends back towards the, the wing. And then do the exact same thing on the other side. It's not wanting to sit right for me. I'm going to just try a different one. sit back a little bit to lean back. And then I'm going to cut one of these long pieces in half of legs. I'm going to put two more legs underneath it. I'm going to trim my legs up a little bit. I like to trim them at an angle, just kind of gives a nice little pointed end to them. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit of glue for durability on it. And then add a little bit of dubbing to hide those thread wraps I put in there. In this peat part, I go pretty thin with the, with the dubbing. Then I'm just going to add some glue to the top of it again just to hold that down. So I'm not even going to whip finish it. I'm just going to basically glue finish this fly off. This back part didn't quite glue to the butt, so I'm going to add a little glue there to pin that down. Now that top glue should be pretty dry and you can just cut your thread right there. And I'm just going to clean up the, the orange on the top a little bit. And that's your fly. <laughs> All right, so ne next fly I'm going to tie is a small cicada, just the regular size. So this is on a size 8 hook, Gamakatsu um, S10. And I'm going to use orange thread for this one. This is actually one of my guides patterns, Brad Lovejoy. Um, these are actually, Umqua picked them up, so you can actually buy these through Umqua now. So tying in again, I'm using 6 off thread. The three out thread works really good. I just like the way the six out bites down on, on the foam a little better. So this fly is going to use some um, some amber wire. And this is the BR, just the, the basic size wire. Right?
Tie this in. Back to about the point of the hook. And I like to put a threader wrap or two behind the wire there. Okay, next thing is to get your foam. And I already have a, a piece cut out for the foam here. I'm going to make the, the butt of the fly here now. So just slowly start to trim that into a fine point. And again, I'm going to hit it with a lighter just to help make those edges smoother. And then you want that to not hang over too much over the fly, so maybe about that right in there. I'm going to wrap my thread forward. Get a solid orange body underneath there. Up to about right there. So now I'm going to take my wire and just lightly pin that, that fly down to the hook. And then we're going to use a bunch of super glue to, re to really get it to sit in place. And I'm going to helicopter that wire out. Sometimes it's a little hard to get to break on these foam flies. Like today. So it's going to look like, like that there with the wire pinned down to it. Um, next, I'm going to put a little bit of glue underneath it to help hold it down. And then I'm going to tie in some, some black deer hair. You could use moose as well. Not too thick of it, just a good little chunk. You make it extend just a little bit beyond the, the body of the, the fly. And I'm going to put some glue to, to help pin that down as well. Use your bodkin to help pin it down and then it should splay out and that'll give it a nice wing profile on the, on the fly. Okay, the next thing is just to add the indicator material. I'm going to use um, some pink EP fibers. Just a decent clump about like that. I'm going to pin it down twice to help it set it back and kind of double up the thickness of it. And the next thing is the legs, and I actually brought the wrong, forgot to bring my skinny legs, so I'm going to use big legs on this one. I'm going to add some clear legs to it as well.
So we go one orange leg and one clear leg on this. Same thing on the other side. And the fly's pretty much done there. I'm just going to clean her up and trim up the legs and cut the head here. The head you want to be pretty short. You want it to maybe end right at the eye of the hook there. And you can add a whip finish to it. I'm just going to whip finish over, over all the legs there. You don't have to go too crazy with the whip finish because I'm going to put a ton of super glue on this to make it more durable. And then I'm just going to trim my legs up. I like to leave the back legs a little longer than the front ones. There's your, there's your love joy cicada. I'm actually going to throw one on there that Brad tied. His are a bit cleaner than mine. He's done it a few thousand more times than I have. All right. So th this last fly I'm doing is called a snooky. I'm going to do it as a, a size four as well. So we've got pretty thick uh, foam silk, a snooky after the, the fabulous TV, reality TV star. So size four uh, hook, and this is a pretty thick cylinder. Don't know exactly what size it is, I, I cut my own. Tie on your six out thread. So this, this fly imitates, it's basically like a Chernobyl ant, just tied on a cylinder or foam body. Looks a lot like a grasshopper. I'm going to tie that forward to about the point of the hook there. I'm going to take my foam and I'm going to do the same thing I did on the cicadas, is kind of trim the back of it and make it more roundish point on the end. Hit it with a lighter. And I want to line it up so it has a, a tiny bit more hanging off the back than the front. It's pretty, pretty symmetrical. And don't pull too tight on it at first, and then you can slowly tighten up those wraps to, to get that foam to, to sit down on the hook. You want to put quite a bit of thread there, and you can put some underneath to help strengthen it as well. Okay, next I'm going to add some uh, hackle. So I'm going to splay it out so it lays down on the fly a little better and then rip half of it off. Okay, so I'm just going to tie that in. Okay, then I'm going to get my legs. And same thing, I'm using round rubber legs. So I'm going to grab about four of those.
And then I like to find the legs that have a little bit of a little bit of character to them. So I'm not sure if you can see on there. That one has some kind of natural bends in it. So I'm going to try to use those bends to my advantage and make those stick out, kind of like a grasshopper's bent legs. Get that to lay down, and then it basically puts a, a nice bend into the to the um, to the leg there. And this one as well has a little bend to it. Sometimes you have to put a, a wrap or two behind the behind the legs to help get them to sit where you want them to. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a couple wraps down below it, and then add a dot of glue on the top to help get that um, hackle to sit down and stay in put. three wraps and then if you kind of wiggle your thread when you're going through those hackles it usually helps to, to not pin down so many of the fibers. Then I'm going to wrap forward and cover up that hook. I'm going to cover it all the way to the tip and then I'm going to go back a little ways. Leave room for the head. About there. All right, now I'm going to kind of do a similar thing here. I'm going to make the head of the fly here. So again, you don't want to pull too tight at first, or you can cut the foam. So you kind of pull soft and then. Slowly tighten up those wraps. Okay, now I'm going to do a wing on it. And I'm going to add a, a piece of CDC that extends a little bit on the body here. Gives the fly just kind of a natural, more buggy look, having the CDC under there. Then I'm going to add, um, add about 10 strands of UV purple crystal flash here. About the same length as the, as the CDC there. Now I'm going to add, uh, I like using CapTel for my wing indicator. I like to grab the tip and then uh, pull the excess fibers out. I, I have used tackle stackers on it, but I, I kind of like the way it's naturally not perfect. And again, make that about the same length as everything else that you tied in before. All right, then I'm going to add another hackle to the front here. And I'm using probably like a probably like a size 12 hackle for it. I like the front hackle to be a little thicker than the back hackle. Killing off the fibers here. Okay, I'm gonna add two more legs. Right, 
Display is looking pretty symmetrical. I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the top here to help hold that hackle down when I tie it in. Two wraps there and then just pin it down. Okay, then I'm going to put a wrap or two in front of it just on the eye of the hook. Put a whip finish there. Trim the, the hackle off the bottom of the fly here. That helps the fly sit a little more low and flush on the on the water. Then I'm gonna super glue the, the bottom of the fly to give it some stability. sticky fly. So lots, lots of rubber legs. You can, you can go in later and trim some of those down a little bit. I like to leave the back ones pretty long. Done? Yep.